think that the first thing that we need to do as auditors is to learn the one-on-one of the artificial intelligence because there is still a lot of auditors that doesn't know which are the differences between concepts like artificial intelligence itself, machine learning, deep learning, uh, generative AI, and how all those concepts are related with data science. I think that there is a lot of things that we need to understand first to start to think how to provide assurance to this technology and pronounce ourselves as auditors about the level of uh, trustworthiness and, and transparency and explainability of these models. As auditors, I think it starts with the risk management process, right? So I think as auditors, we want to take time to understand the specific uh, risk and impact of various different AI systems. AI has several different use cases and the, the level of controls or guardrails that you need to build really depends upon what is the specific impact or risk of the use case. So auditors should spend more time in trying to understand the context in which an AI system is deployed. Who are the users or who are the audience of the AI system? Because different users of AI systems have different objectives or different uh, perspectives from that. So it's all about trying to understand who the users of the AI system are and what could be the specific risk and impact in that context. For me, as the organizations invest in this technologies, you need to be in a position to be able to support that journey. And then through auditing, there'll be plenty of opportunities to audit these systems based on business case value, organizational change management, but also from a regulatory point of view. So a number of countries have regulations when it comes to specifically AI systems and also privacy. So part of that is you need to schedule regular audits to show that you're in compliance but also a number of organizations are choosing to procure third-party AI solutions. So as an auditor, how do you vet these third-party solutions in terms of their level of risk? So how they manage model, uh, how they train the data, uh, how do they uh, deploy the model, and also their security practices. Even though AI, I think it's a fast moving target, I think just as a digital trust professional, as an auditor, you have to have that inquisitiveness you're always constantly learning. Uh, you know, when you get a certification, you're always doing your CPEs, you're always doing continuous learning. The way I look at it is every day is an opportunity to be better than you were yesterday. So I constantly try to read on something. It's not where we're at, it's where we're going. As an auditor, the, there are numerous upsides to AI. One of the big ones that I see is leveraging it for uh, a lot of repetitive manual work. So controls testing, especially if we can, if it's a large data set, we can you know, put, run that through AI, it could do anomaly detection for us. So it reduces the man hours for things like socks because sometimes there's not a lot of risk associated with the control, but it's still something that we're required to do. So I think that there's some, some definite win-win situations where AI, like it, it is the perfect tool for that job. It's more of, can you help me summarize this? Could you rephrase this language so it can sound more business-like as compared to like audit speak? So I think it's more of that education and awareness is very important to actually know, yes, you can use like, you know, chat GPT, um, but you also have to know how to use it so it can be more beneficial to like, you know, your work product. We also use it for like, you know, uh, to summarize like, a full report. So, you know, instead of me spending like 20 hours reviewing a report, I can put it like in on the AI instance that we have, and then it can summarize it for me, and then it can focus on those key points. It's not just productivity, but also helps us to be more effective in terms of delivering our work. So having a strong foundation and being able to recognize that AI is a tool, I think that will definitely um, help us in our jobs. We shouldn't fear the AI. In fact, I will say that about AI, no fear, Isaka is here and Isaka is responding with a lot of materials that will help us to improve our way to understand these technologies because that is an important word there. We need to understand this new technology, not only, uh, you know, go with the hype for using this technology and, see how, and seeing how all these uh, all the organizations are using these technologies to operate in their departments. No, we need to learn how to 
this, how this technology works. Don't be scared of losing your job because of AI. AI is a tool, it's meant to help us. It's not meant to replace us as auditors. And for us to be able to get on top of it is, you, you have to be responsible in your own professional development. So with ISACA's AAIA, and the word advanced is really like, it's there because it means you are going to level up your profession.